Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1961 florin from the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, the coin we can see on screen now. I will first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design, featuring a large English rose to the centre, surrounded by the other flowers of the nations of the UK, with the thistle, the leek and the shamrock there for Scotland, Wales and Ireland. Now we can see there to the bottom of the rose, the initials EF and CT for the designers Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas. To the bottom we can see there written is the wording two shillings, of course the denomination, to the right hand side of the date 1961, and to the top there is part of the abbreviated Latin legend which reads Fid Def, or in English means Defender of the Faith, of course in reference to Queen Elizabeth II, who we can see now on the obverse of the coin. This is her first portrait, and it was designed by Mary Gillick, and sees the young queen wearing her hair up, with a laurel in her hair, and facing to the right. Now we can see around her, again is another Latin abbreviated legend, this time it reads Elizabeth II de Gratia Regina, or in English this means Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen. So her titles as Queen, and how that she was traditionally, how the monarch was traditionally chosen by God to rule, de Gratia by the grace of God. Now we can see on both sides of the coin, if it is a, mill, a milled edge or milling on the edge of the coin, this was traditionally there to prevent the coin from being clipped. So there's the design of the coin, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures. So this coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of a cupro-nickel alloy, consisting of two metals, it is 75% copper and 25% nickel. The same alloy is in 50p's today. The weight of the coin is 11.3 grams, as was set upon its release in the mid-1800s, and the diameter, again set in 1851, is 28.5 millimeters, so a fairly large coin for the time. The mintage is very large, with 37,735,315 being produced in 1961, so a very common year. The florin coin is a 24 pence piece, which is 2 shillings, or 1 tenth of a pound. So there were 10 of these coins to every pre-decimal pound. And back in 1961, one florin was equal to £2.79 today. So worth more than a £2 coin, considerably more than a £2 coin today, was the florin coin back then. And it was demonetized in 1992, after serving as a 10 pence piece for a while after decimalization. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today for a collector. It'll sell for around 30 pence in poor condition, around 75 pence in fine condition, around £1 in extremely fine condition, and about £2 in uncirculated grade. So a very, very common, cheap and affordable coin to add to your collection, and do comment down below if you do have the 1961 florin in your collection, as we'd love to know. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Please, of course, subscribe if you've enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.